Hi, my name is Martin Pomper, and I'm the director of the Division of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging. And I think that the distinction is important because what we do in nuclear medicine and molecular imaging is actually look at physiologic or function rather than merely looking at anatomy. And in fact, what we're trying to do is dig even deeper and try to get molecular signatures of what's happening in various organs in health and in disease. So in the division, we have a variety of very exciting educational and research initiatives. Uh, we actually have a separate residency program uh, in the division from the radiology residency program. We have a fellowship program uh, that's dedicated to PET-CT uh, for nuclear medicine physicians or radiologists that would like a deeper dive into that aspect of nuclear medicine and molecular imaging. We also have the first combination radiology slash nuclear medicine residency uh, that's available on the electronic uh, resident application service for the medical students to be able to enter the match. And I should emphasize that our residency program is geared uh, toward developing leaders in nuclear medicine and molecular imaging, uh, academic leaders, and we were actually ranked uh, number one uh, this past year in the country uh, for uh, uh, the work that, that's uh, going on. Uh, we also have a number of exciting uh, research programs in the division. Uh, many of them involve discovery of new imaging agents or repurposing of agents for, uh, for new indications. Uh, for example, uh, we have an extensive program in developing imaging and therapeutic agents for helping to manage prostate cancer that we're doing in collaboration with our colleagues in the Department of Urology. Uh, those agents actually are now being distributed worldwide in helping uh, to manage patients uh, with prostate cancer. These research programs, educational programs that I just discussed, are really geared toward enabling us to do the best we can for our patients in this corner of imaging space so that we can continue to provide the excellent care in keeping with the mission of Johns Hopkins Medicine.